Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial Number Six. We'll be learning layers and a couple other vital functions. Okay, so to start out with, our layers are right here. All of these are layers. We're in layer one, which is here. And layers are handy when you want to put objects in, such as lighting, lighting in another layer. So you don't have to worry about seeing it when you're editing objects, or if your scene is too large, you can have parts of the layers come in later. Alright, so say we want to send our light in our camera to another layer. You can select the light with right mouse button and shift to select the camera, and then hit M. M will send us to the layers. The layers there are seen here. It's the same order, so M and then we'll just send them down one layer so they're gone they're out of this layer and they're down here okay so now they're in a whole another layer and you can hold shift and select left mouse select another layer and bring both of them together okay so if it's like this and you render it it'll render everything in this layer if you have both selected it'll render everything in both layers and that'll work for more layers or less. Okay, so if we go ahead and select on our cube now, we'll go into another function, uh, which is physics, not IPO or bullet physics, but our particle physics. Okay, in our edit buttons down here, we can go ahead, we're in object mode, make sure you're in object mode, hit the physics button, which is the three three uh, arrows pointing different directions okay and we have a new buttons and we'll go to the one that looks like uh, like something's fallen on fire kinda I don't, know, I don't really know okay so if we go to particles and new we have all these settings these particles are mainly for or these settings are mainly for making particles like hair smoke and fire grass, stuff like that. Anything that consists of strands that you wouldn't use a mesh for. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and make this a hairy cube. So to do this, you just have to memorize this order. It's pretty, I mean, that's it. Go to static. Okay, and once we hit static, we'll notice all these little dots appear everywhere. But there's nothing coming out of them. They're not going anywhere. They're just there. Okay? To make these dots uh, come out, we go to particle motion, which is the motion of the particles, which can be animated and moved. Okay, so particle motion, and we'll hit normal. The normal button is the normal direction that the normals are going. Uh, I haven't taught what normals are yet. Well, we'll get into that later. And it just shoots that particle directly along the axes of that uh, that particle okay and if we hit random we can make this more random as you can see here they're not so straight from the verts alright and we can hit damping just kinda like a gravity almost you can't really see the difference much but alright so we have these I mean you can you can mess with all these just kind of get the feel for what they do. Okay, so now I'll say we want these to be falling down like, like it's real heavy or it's been growing this way, or it's blowing in the wind. We need to go to our force. Okay, so we have X, Z, and Y. A good way to determine which way you want to go is by this. This is what I was saying. Okay, so the X is red, and the red is here on this arrow. So it would be going this way. So if we come down here and hit add some motion to the x axis, we'll notice that the particles are now going this direction. And same for the the blue is the z. And then you can come here and hit z, add some, or subtract to go down. Just kind of get a feel for which direction they go. Negative down, plus up. And we render this you'll see our particles okay 
And we'll notice our cube is missing. It's not there anymore. What we need to do for this is go to our particles tab again and hit mesh. This will show our mess in mesh in the render. So without it, it shows nothing. It does not show the mesh. It just shows the particles. And then with mesh selected, it'll show the cube. So there's the cube with the particles. I know this is a lot, but just try to understand it. Maybe explore it a little more. Alright. So we can obviously add color to these particles. Just changing the color of the cube will change the color of the particles. Because that's what it is. That's pretty what that's what it is, the color. Just doesn't show it. Alright. Now say we want these particles to uh kind of look like a smokish fire type of thing. I guess. Uh I'm not gonna do uh hold. so now if we go to the halo button with the cube selected. Okay. Now our particle now the mesh is completely gone. But it's a halo. You can see Oh, you can't really see it on YouTube, but there's four vertices for each face. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to find it, and I'm looking. Alright, but we can go to the uh, shaders button and kind of set down the heart and set up the halo size. Okay. Now if we look at it when we render it with the halo settings for particles, it'll have a whole other effect. You can enhance. You can find tutorials on how to make this look like fire. I'll, I'll probably do it in the future here. But see, they're not so much as strands anymore as it is a bunch of fuzz, which is good if you were to use textures and the right coloring. It would look like smoke or fire. It depends. Okay, so that's halo with particles, and we can also use the Z invert for this too. Very neat effect. I'll let a couple pictures show, and then it'll conclude this tutorial. Okay. So we haven't even edited the mesh at all, and we've created really abstract pictures. All right, that's pretty interesting the way it came out. Alright, there it is. Uh, this concludes Blender Video Tutorials number 6. Ah. Goodbye.